Colin, just tell me a bit about the, the day, the big day, the Royal Opening. So 6th of November 1981 was a big day, a very proud day for the people of Tyneside um, when Her Majesty the Queen came to open the newest section of the Metro at the time, uh, 15 months after the first bit. Uh, the new section from Newcastle through to Heworth opened, including the new bridge, um, and the Royal Party boarded their train in Newcastle, delayed by a bomb scare, I believe, um, and the first port, point, port of call was a specially built platform at the north end of Bridge N106, as it was then to, to be renamed the Queen Elizabeth Bridge over the Tyne, uh, and their departure from that ceremony was delayed again when Prince Philip decided to take a walk across the bridge to the centre to view the other bridges down river. Anyway, safely gathered on board, they continued on their way under Gateshead to the new interchange at Gateshead where the Queen unveiled a, a plaque which is still there to this day and then they continued their journey on to Heworth um, and there Prince Philip went for a walk again and got talking to the driver of the train Jack Hall and was found sitting in the driver's cab having a, having a nice chat. Uh, and then from there they were whisked away in a, a, a car to Newcastle Civic Centre for a, a grand reception. Um, so all of this was relayed to me by some of the ex-colleagues of my dad who worked on the Metro at the time uh, and I've been able to include their anecdotes in the book which came out for the 40th anniversary.